Hi, this is Believe in Jesus 222, and um, this is part of the series, The Bride of Christ. Uh, the last two videos, um, one was a part one, one was part two, and this one here, they're going to be more in depth. So the first two videos, I think were more in depth as well, like when it describes her name and all the names she might have, or she actually has people don't believe that she's called New Jerusalem. They don't believe she's called Zion. They don't believe she's called Shania. They don't believe she's called, um, yeah, they, they just, they just don't believe <laughs> that all the names that she has, they don't believe she's called Sophia, the Holy Spirit. They don't believe all these names that she's, uh, generated throughout time. Um, and with her having all these names, like one, Wisdom, Eve, and the second Eve, Daughter of Zion, Zion, the Shilamite woman, Proverbs woman, Song of Songs woman, the mother, the sister, the noble daughter, the church, New Jerusalem, desolate woman, Mary Magdalene, Bride of Christ. So she, throughout time, she's been her soul spirit has gone and been reborn again to keep things hidden. So she's able to live more than one life, not knowing in the life in reincarnation in the life that she might've lived and passed away. She got a new life, but didn't know who she was in the past life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So people forget and fail to realize and do their own research and talk to the creator to find out is this true is this why we have a soul is this we have a sp why we have a spirit is this why we're also reborn again and why we need to be born again as um a new cre a new creation as far as us, us doing baptismal but we are reborn again so it's and i'm not just talking about baptismal but Everyone does not believe so, but you will find out sooner or later. Okay, so now I'm going to start. Number one, a hit a hint is the hidden passage and proof that all this that I'm telling you, it's a mystery. Like the whole Bible, it's a mystery, and we should never read it just front to back um and and stop at that. We should go from here. How, like, how do you think I found all this? I didn't go from front to back. Um, I was also led, led by the spirit. And I only do videos when I'm led. I don't do videos just because. Okay, so the first passage is Proverbs 25, 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to search it out. What does conceal mean? To keep something secret, to prevent from being known hide keep from sight so it is the glory of god to conceal a matter but the glory of kings to search it out so it take everyone's not going to know these secrets of the bible they're they're not going to know that and it's, it's especially meant for not everyone to know on purpose first colossians 1 26 through 27 the sacred secret that was hidden from the past systems of things from the past generations but now has been revealed to his holy ones to whom god has been pleased to make known among the nations the glorious riches of the sacred secret which is christ in union with you which is her it means the hope of his glory which also means her is she, that you. So for instance, where it says the sacred secret, which is Christ in union, in union with you, her, the scriptures to her. So first Colossians 4, 3, at the same time, pray also for us meaning more than one, that God may open a door for the word so that we can declare the sacred secret about the Christ for which 
I am in prison bonds. There it is again, the sacred secret. The same word over and over and how to conceal a matter. It's all throughout the Bible, but when we read it, we don't we just read it. A lot of us do, because we're taught wrong. Revelations nineteen, seven through nine. Um, let me see, let me read it. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm going to say that part for later because I want to read that last. Um, no, I'm going to read it now, I guess. <laughs> okay. Just bear with me for a quick holler second here. Okay, so Revelations 19, 7 through 9, it says, Let us rejoice and be overjoyed and give him glory, because the marriage of the Lamb has arrived, and his wife, his wife, it doesn't say his people, it says his wife has prepared herself. It doesn't say himself, it doesn't say the body, it doesn't say that. It says his wife has prepared herself. Yes, it has been granted to her to be clothed with bright, clean, fine linen. For the fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the holy ones. And he tells me right happy are those invited to the evening meal of the Lamb's marriage. Right happy. So happy are those that are invited to the evening meal of the Lamb's marriage. Also, he tells me, these are the true sayings of God. Okay, so her clothes, fine linen, stands for the acts of the Holy Ones. So again, church equals her as she, a female. It doesn't say people. Now the saints, they go, they do go to the church. To receive the Holy Spirit and song. Um, okay. I'm going to read Proverbs 5.18. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. And then verse 19 talks about lovemaking. So Proverbs 7, 4, say to wisdom, you are my sister and call insight your intimate friend. These last two verses show you that wisdom was a son's sister. I've already talked about that. Okay, so let's go on. Proverbs 8, 27 through 28. When he established the heavens, I was there. This is what she wrote. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned the sea to its limits so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, she was there. It says, I was there. So let's go on. Isaiah 2, 3, and many people shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain um, on the house of the Lord. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's go to Isaiah 2, 3. I'm sorry, I had an interruption. And many people shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountains of the house of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob that he may teach us his ways, that we may walk in the paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Isaiah 11, 1 through 2. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest up on him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the lord so i talked about that before being a child okay 
Okay, Song of Songs 8-5. Who is that coming up from the wilderness, leaning on her beloved under the apple tree? And I keep pointing at the thing, the things called tree, apple tree. Um, I awakened you. There your mother was in labor with you. There she who bore you was in labor. Okay, Ephesians 3, 9 through 10. And to bring to light for everyone, what is the plan of the mystery hidden? Here we go again, the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God. So the church is wisdom. Do you get it? of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly place, places. So you have to know how to break it down, how to understand. And not everything is for everyone to understand. And it was on purpose that we were not supposed to get all this. Now, Ephesians three twenty through 21 now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to whom be the glory in the church and in Christ, in church and in Christ, church meaning she, Christ meaning him, Jesus Christ, Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever amen so going down ephesians 4 4 there is one body one spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call so that to me one body that's flesh of my flesh bone of my bone you know the marriage thing in the church and in Christ, church meaning wisdom, Christ meaning Jesus. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be a short video, long video, how this is going to go. But Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget you and your children. Revelations 12, 6. And the woman fled into the wilderness. There's that word again, wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God in which she is to be nourished for 12 1,260 1, days, which equals 42 months, which is three and a half years. Revelations twelve fourteen. But the woman was given the two wings of the great eagle so that she might fly from the serpent into the wilderness to the place where she is to be nourished for a time and a times a half a time. Okay. Proverbs 25, 2, I, oh, I already read that. Sorry. Hosea 2, 19. Um, I will engage myself to you forever. And I will engage myself to you in righteousness and in justice, in loyal love and in mercy. I will engage myself to you in faithfulness. You will certainly know Jehovah. Hosea 2.23, I will sow her like seed for myself in the earth. I will sow her like seed for, for, sorry, I will sow her like seed for myself in the earth. And I will show mercy to her who has not shown mercy. Another hidden message, like why hasn't she shown mercy? I will sow her like seed for myself in the earth. And I will show mercy to her who has not shown mercy. Another hidden message. Just laugh out loud. Like, 
I on this one, I will let you guys figure this out, this one out for your own. And um, <laughs> I'll let you figure it out on your own because it literally it says like these are scriptures that we need to pay attention to. Wait for confirmation. Never look for it. You know, we're supposed to wait on the Lord and the spirit, not just look online, start searching the word, like opening up the Bible and say, there it is. There's my confirmation. No. Did Joel wait? Did Joel wait? And how long did he wait? Did Joseph force a dream? No. He waited for it to come to him many times. We are taught wrong this way. We are taught wrong. This is why we are told in scripture to not trust no man. We are to wait and be patient. Revelations 21 9. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls of the seven plagues came and said to me, come and I will show you the bride of the lamb's wife. The lamb is Jesus. It says bride and lamb's wife, not people or congregation. He marries one woman whom is the tree of life, the light of the world. Is anyone getting this now? Once she's taken, there will be darkness as in the beginning. Do you get it? Proverbs 3.18. She's a tree of life to those who <laughs> buy hold of her. I'm sorry. She's a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are blessed. If the church is the bride, then where? Are all the people? How would they get inside the church if it was already built? Church is she, the bride. Everyone is not taught this way, or nor does everyone believe it. Most people, even in Ephesians, he says to be ready all through. They talk about the wedding not being late. Throughout the Bible, they talk about the wedding not being late and the five virgins who didn't bring their oil. The previous video, it speaks about in scripture where I was talking about how she built her house. The church is her house. The church, then it talks about all of her walls and passages. You can find those scriptures in Matthew 25. Isaiah 26. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitants of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Zion is the woman, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Who is the Holy One? Jesus Christ. Zion, she, her, will shout and sing for joy because the Holy One's in her midst. Why? Because she's been waiting a very long time. Who's without spot, wrinkle, blemish, and sinless? Jesus. Do you get it? That's another clue. Hidden passage of the sacred, secret mystery. So before you say it isn't, it isn't so, it's here multiple times throughout the Bible, talking about the bride being a her as she also about the hidden mystery not everyone will figure this out it was never meant for everyone to know who she is or what the sacred mystery is revelations 12 is the bride revelations 22:14 blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to the tree of life calling her the tree of life again, and that they may enter the city by the gates. Now, the tree of life was there in the beginning between Adam and Eve, right? Yes. Revelation twenty two seventeen, and the spirit and the bride say, keep saying, come, and let anyone hearing say, come, and let anyone thirsting come. Let anyone who wishes take a life's water free.
Revelations 22, 20. The one who bears witness of these things says, yes, I am coming quickly. So whoever bears witness of these things, which is Jesus Christ, he says, yes, I am coming quickly. So this isn't a super long one like I thought it was going to be, but it is what it is and scripture does not lie. And some scripture, yes, was completely taken out on purpose. Some scriptures were hidden on purpose so we would not figure it out. That's why it is called sacred secret and hidden mystery. That's why it's constantly repeated in different passages. So it is up to us to seek the spirit and to seek Jesus to find our answers, not just for us to turn to the Bible and be like, oh, here it is. No, that's not how we look for things. Yes, we look for things like that if we need help, but confirmations, you wait on them. You wait on a confirmation to come to you, not to seek it out, but to come to you. Uh, Joseph never was like, oh, okay, I figured this out. He had a dream first. You understand? A dream. So bless you guys. Love you guys. Take care. Um, and keep holding each other up, especially in these times. I don't know if you're paying attention, but there's a lot of hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, tsunamis. A lot of stuff is going on. Earthquakes in diverse places that never had been are happening so bless you take care and you can leave comments ask